Smooth Road by Pios or Pios, Peos, something like that. It's a three vowel combination that's difficult to pronounce. Hey guys, Game Hunter here, and we are playing Smooth Road, which is a, as you can see, somewhat full 3D roguelike thing going on here. So, uh, control wise, we got, I don't, can I even press? No, okay. So, uh, we got WASD or arrow keys for movement. Um, and if you notice, wait, I guess those aren't actually working, huh? So, I guess I just gotta use it like so, and then we go. So we just move around and we do clicking, I think. Can I, do I have to like click specifically? Do I have to press one of the buttons for attack? Okay, there we go. I just attacked, even though I could have sworn that I was supposed to like, this is like the jump button. I don't understand why you'd ever jump in a game like this, but um, you know, it's, I was under the impression that this this was for the jump button. Whew, okay, wow. Taking some damage there. All right, so we got some things going on. And uh, do I just kind of pick this up? Yeah, walk speed potion, <laughs> sword radius spell. All right, cool. And then we got uh, gold and some more gold. Nice, now there's like bunch of uh, okay whoa okay so we got momentum in this game it is a game with momentum so on to the next level and I guess just all right so you got stuck on a wall there and I got some HP back oh crap super crap didn't do that at all right you're like a super enemy that I got to deal with okay so in spite of not technically being able to walk this guy is perfectly fine at kind of doing that. Ow, and I still took damage. Run away! Run away. Can I like uh I guess I could I can waste time by doing this. Three, four, ow, five. Man, these guys take a lot. And the problem is that you can't like explicitly be in one direction. What if I try running away? I guess I can run away from these guys faster than they can actually do anything. So I can use that to my advantage. And maybe I can stop their momentum and then just kind of <gasps> run away a little bit. And then, um, oh, I can actually turn while I'm swinging the sword. Well, that's cool. And then do that. And then like, so I, I can abuse real time mechanics in other words to, to get what I need to do. All right, cool. I always like being able to do that. I don't mind it. It's, okay, walk speed potion so I can move even faster and get gold and have only one HP. Real true roguelikes are played with one HP. Oh wow, that's a chest just kind of sitting here. Sword radius so I can swing even better now and farther. Walk speed and more two HP. Sweetness, sweetness. Who really got to navigate these things properly? Is that like... That's just the next floor, I guess. Huh. All right, so there we go. Climbing to the next level. Levels bigger, monsters have more HP, as expected. Can I deal with you? Uh, there we go. You didn't really seem to have more HP, unless you guys regenerate a bit. Oh, boy. Just kind of swing this guy. Run away a bit, and then swing some more. So yeah, it's Smooth Rogue or Soft Rogue. I think that was the prototype name, and they trashed it after they thought Smooth Rogue sounded sleeker and cooler and everything. Um, and it's 3D, and it is like pretty darn awesome graphics as far as roguelikes go. Uh, okay, phew. So yeah, basically abusing uh, momentum and the ability to kind of do things simultaneously. You know how it is in like Quake or something where basically if you want to do really well, you end up, uh, um, you know, corner strafing it or whatever. Crap, crap. Speed bo Oh, whoa. So you deal extra damage um, if you're like speed bonusing it up. Okay. That's interesting. So like you can charge and deal extra damage. Cool. That is how games are meant to be played, by charging at things. So you could like speed run this game super awesome. And I just love kind of spinning around all over the place. 
Foosh! Wow, look at that. I just killed that guy entirely. Blew his head off. Okay, walk speed. Wow, look at that momentum I can get now. Boosh! Man, gotta watch out for traps, but you know. Really good. Man, look at that that vector right there. That is that is one badass vector. Okay, and boom! Yeah, wow, that is a huge sword. That is an enormous sword. But it, it well, okay, it does swing proportionately fast. Alright, you got me, game. I know what you're up all about. And you're about making this game easy because it's just a prototype and you want to be able to kind of show things off. So, yeah. Boosh! Oh, man, missed. Boosh! Boosh! Yeah, that's the sound that a sword makes when it hits something. Boosh! Skadoosh! Kerblamo! Bam! Yeah, yeah. That's how you do it. Man, that sword is enormous. And where's this guy's other hand? In fact, I don't think he has any hands. He's mostly just a torch and a sword. So we call him uh, Templar Knight, the uh, nun-handed, I guess. <laughs> ow, ow, I think I just took damage from walking into that spike. So we're just going to kind of do this nice and gracefully. Very careful about going through that trap area. Okay. So we got some more gold. Got some more HPs that I lost anyway. Boosh! Skabam! I don't know what other sounds to make. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> that's how that plays out. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. We got some healing potion and some HPs and uh, more speed potions to go super duper magnifico fastimus. Uh, there we go. Sports. <laughs> that is just like the big. That sword is bigger than my body by about three times. And we got all the chests because the dungeon. And why, man? I've had the mouse here this whole time. I bet it's pissing people off. So we're at 4-4, four, four and it says chests. And it also says monsters, I think. Monsters are, I don't know. I thought it said monsters, but maybe it doesn't. So we just kind of go foosh! And doom, yeah. Maybe I should actually make a, like a shing! There we go. That's that's the real sound that a sword makes. you got to be careful about these guys. Let them wander into the traps and then kind of in, uh, blast them into outer space. Like Team Rocket. Yeah, these guys are all, uh, uh, Tangelas? I don't know. Man, I only know first gen Pokemon. I bet there's something that relates more to, uh, actual, you know, freaking seventh gen. You got your Whammo Blammo Sores and your Kite Dagger Tree Follicles and your, your Rectangle Blasting Dragon pieces of lots of cauliflower. I don't know. Just stop asking me. I'm not going to play Pokemon unless you have a Pokemon roguelike. Uh, ooh, whoa. Okay, I just took damage. Trap damage. Still got chests to get, though. That is going to be a hard chest to get because I got to, like, I guess I could do this. There we go. Foosh. So I guess backwards momentum doesn't count for you. There's that. Yeah, we got... Oh, okay. Phew. Oh, man. These things become dastardly unnavigable after a while. So, all right. Cool. But if you notice, if you just stop, the game just kind of stops, and you can think about what you're doing. So, you'll still keep the momentum you have, so you still got to worry about that. But, um, okay, we're on to the last floor, and I was heard I heard that there's, <gasps> ow, a boss here. So, we got to be aware of that. Yeah, oh, my God, you're a boss. You are totally a boss. Boosh! I should probably just like pick up chests while I'm here first. Bam! Kerblamo! 21 damage. Oh wow, you got a lot of HP. But not that much. Like, I could kill you in a matter of weeks if I was a real thing. You're just a big dude, you know. Look at you. Like, what's that mouth for? It's just. Ugh! You're like. Oh, you know what? You're like Metapod. Metapod, Metapod. Ugh, I hope he doesn't turn into a Butterfree. Uh, that could be bad. Butterfrees have confusion. All right, there we go. Victory! Victorious! And, um, so is that, is that it? Is that the whole thing? Pressing buttons. All right, yeah, so that's it. This has been Game Hunter playing Smooth Rogue. And, um, that was pretty 
sweet, small, mostly showing off an engine, but wow, it can be an amazing... Could you imagine, like, playing, for instance, um, well, maybe, maybe other roguelikes like NetHack aren't a good example, because this is still sort of, like, continuous non-discrete blocks of, of where you are and stuff. But, I mean, could you imagine playing such roguelikes like that in this kind of environment? I think it, I think it could work really well. Um, you might need special other mechanics, but hell, it's a it's pretty awesome prototype if I do say so myself. Anyway, Smooth Rogue, check it out. Um, in the meantime, we'll be playing more stuff as, you know, we go about in our daily lives. So, until then, keep playing those roguelikes, guys, and take care.